Joining us now, Congressman Adam Smith from Washington. He is the ranking member of the House Armed Services Committee. So what do you make of that, of that video from Benjamin Netanyahu, what he says on it, the way it's filmed? What message do you think he's trying to send there? I mean, the biggest thing I make of it is that Netanyahu is trying to come up with excuses for his failed policies at the moment and is lashing out in any direction he can to try to distract from that. And what I mean by that, and look, we support Israel. I, I agree with the White House. We've been giving them weapons and we help them, obviously, when Iran attacked them, uh, protect them against that. President Biden has been as supportive of Israel as any president in history to date. But at the same time, Prime Minister Netanyahu has not been working with us and not been working with Saudi Arabia and Jordan and others to build up an alternative to Hamas and to have some sort of pass forward, path forward towards peace. I, and I think people are beginning to realize that. Uh, so he's lashing out to try and distract from that, as is my primary interpretation of why he did that. If he's lashing out, is it because he fears his position, his hold on power within Israel is slipping? Uh, yeah. No, I think there's a question about that. We saw the breakup of the war cabinet. Benny Gantz uh, moved, moved out of the cabinet and the entire war cabinet was broken up. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's popularity is, I don't know where, but it's really low. If the election was held, he would lose. But all that is less important than, than getting to peace in Gaza and long-term stability in the Middle East. And there is an option. There is an option to do that. We have Saudi Arabia and Jordan and Turkey and Egypt and others willing to work with Palestinians to build an alternative to Hamas and to give the Palestinian people some hope while at the same time keeping Hamas down. But the Prime Minister of Israel has to be willing to work with us on that. He has consistently frustrated that effort. Um, so that's the biggest concern I have for the region. You right say now. the Prime Minister has to be willing to work with the United States. Does that mean that there needs to be a different Prime Minister? Can you work with a Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, to achieve peace in Gaza? Is that possible? As I've emphasized, that, that that's not my choice. That's Israel's choice. Uh, I, I, I think we should be out of the regime change business no matter where. The people of Israel will choose their leadership, and we need to work with them as best as we can. Uh, but certainly Prime Minister Netanyahu is making that more difficult right now. We support Israel. I understand the threat that Israel faces from Hamas, from Hezbollah in the north, in Lebanon, from Iran. It is a widespread threat that they face, and we are supporting them in that effort. Um, but it seems that Prime Minister Netanyahu is interested in distracting from that by criticizing his greatest friend right now You're in the war. Your constituency is mixed uh, on the issue of Israel and the war in Gaza. How do you explain uh, to your voters why it's necessary, in your opinion, for the U.S. to stand as closely as it does by Israel's side? Well, the way I just explained it, um, certainly Hamas is a threat. And let's not forget what Hamas did on October 7th or what Hamas is. Hamas wants to sh destroy all of Israel. That is certainly bad for Israel, and Israel deserves to be helped in defending against that. It's also horrible for the Palestinian people and for their future, as we have seen. But it's not just Hamas. It's Hezbollah in Lebanon, which continues to attack Israel from the north. Somewhere around 100,000 Israelis have been driven out of their homes in the north of Israel. It's Iran who has launched those attacks. It's the Houthis down in Yemen who are launching those attacks. Israel has a right to exist as a country. They are under a profound threat from multiple different directions. We need to deter that threat, first of all, to protect Israel, but second of all, because in deterring that threat, we can force forward a peace process. We can force Hezbollah and Iran and others to realize they can't destroy Israel, so they have to figure out some way to live with them. That's the primary reason that I support Israel. Congressman Adam Smith, the ranking member of the House Armed Services Committee, thank you very much for joining us on this issue. Thanks for giving me the chance.